So we're going to have a look at hauling with the protraction, all right? So I'm going to have the protraction as my haul and an ID evac as my backup. Um, they are more efficient than an ID when you're hauling, about 25% more efficient. The big problem with them is, is if they snag on something or when you've got them up, is lowering the load back down again. So as a rule of thumb, I'd say if the, if the load's coming up, that's cool. If you're doing a cross haul or something like that, something a bit more technical, I'd still go for two IDs or an ID and a backup, all right? Um, but we'll look at threading it in. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my backup into the evac. Close that one up. And then, so a protraction, I've just, we've just put uh, a little diagram on there because we find the candidates were struggling. We had people hauling it off here. We broke a few. So it's just a little guide to how you thread it on. So I've got my anchor and the rope. So it's going in this way around, load it in, close it up. And then there's a little cam on top, engages the teeth. So that's a one-to-one -one at the minute. I've got 75 kilos on there. You know, that's not going anywhere. So I need to um, increase the mechanical advantage. All right, so I'm just gonna start with uh, a redirectional pulley into the bottom of the protraction. I just pull a bit of slack through. And then I'm gonna add another pulley. And a basic, so that's our standard three to one setup onto the working line. All right, so that's the three to one. Do my gates up, keep you all happy. So, and the self locking evac means you don't have to mess around with the backup too much. Pull that down. You know, it is much more efficient. So my hauls come all the way up. Um, if you're using a protraction, that should be the end of it. I can pull it onto the platform or whatever. Um, but we, we want to be able to lower this one. We're going to send it back down. Something's happened. So to turn a protraction into a lowering system very easily. I'm just going to get an ASAP, clip it into there, attach it to the working line. Make sure your lock's not on if you're using an ASAP lock. And then I'm going to pick it up with the whole system and disengage the cam and then lock that in place. And then I can lower the hole onto my backup. Take the whole system out. All right, so now the weight's on the ID. All right, so I just need to check the ASAP's running and then I can use an evac over the friction lock. Lower it down. <laughs> 